If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, Atex? Welcome back to another video. So we got some new info here for Black Ops Cold War. Uh, it's actually pretty freaking sick stuff. So let's jump into it. If you enjoy the video, drop a like, super appreciate it. If you're new, make sure you do subscribe with notifications on. And if you want to support the channel directly, then check out my sponsors, G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live Codes, and more link down below to them. And then Control Freak and Scuff, I use them every day when I'm playing. I just got my Juggernog Control Freak, so check them out, guys. These things are amazing. They come in this special Juggernog kind of package, and it has this magnet you put up top if you want to hold it there. It's a double-sided magnet. And it also has its, obviously, Control Freaks inside, so they're kind of nice. They're kind of nice. So check them out if you guys want to. These are like limited edition. They're definitely going to sell out. So definitely check them out if you guys want to. Code OG x gets you a discount. And uh, other side notes here. Amazon influencer page if you guys want to support me through there. Or my Twitch account. Twitch.tv slash the OG x And Twitter at OG x If you want to interact with me live. Let's go ahead now and talk about this article. So we actually have quite a bit to talk about in terms of the changes on there. There's actually one more thing today. We actually also had a full teardown of the PlayStation 5, which was actually kind of crazy. Uh, they uploaded like the full, like breaking it down into piece by piece. And they really focused on making that thing super quiet and be really good at cooling because it has a gigantic fan and a ton of heat sinks. So I'm actually more pumped for the PS5 than I was before this teardown. Still bummed out about the size of the SSD after the operating system is installed. If you missed that video the other day, check it out, I'll link it down below. But let's talk about some of these features. Black Ops Cold War features, a field of view slider, and ping system on all platforms. Treyarch has announced the addition of a highly requested feature, field of view or FOV for short slider as part of the blog post detailing the ways to play in Black Ops Cold War beta. Treyarch has announced that an FOV slider will be available on all platforms for the game. Field of view sliders have been highly requested as it allows players to change the view of the screen they can see. PC players have been able to do this for titles for a long time, but console players have not. Treyarch is now allowing console players to match the PC experience and how wide they want their, to make their field of view. In addition to FOV slider, the game betas will also offer HUD visual toggles including removing health bars and more options to pick from. The team is also announcing the addition of a ping system to multiplayer, allowing players to communicate more accessibly with teammates across multiplayer modes. And you guys can see this is the image that they have of what the field of view looks like, but it's it's a lot, man. You're going to be able to see a hell of a lot more if you slide that thing all the way up to max. So I don't know what the max is. It looks like it might be around 115. So I'll have to wait and see, but uh, that's actually kind of crazy. So, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> But I'm so happy they added that. Obviously, also, they talked about the ability to remove a lot of stuff from your HUD. So you can remove crosshairs if you want. The hit marker visuals, the damage-based hit markers, the ally health bars. You're going to remove all of that. The enemy health bars, player names. You can make those shorter. The horizontal compass at some top. You can get rid of that. So you can get rid of a lot, which is actually kind of crazy. And then for the ping system, it says that for the first time in Black Ops multiplayer, we're adding a locating ping system as a feature across all multiplayer modes allowing you to ping objectives, loot locations, and enemies on your teammates for your teammates during a match. For Team Deathmatch or Fire Team Dirty Bomb, you can use the ping system to communicate non-verbally with your teammates for increased coordination. By default, ping is mapped to D-pad left on the controllers and bound to Z on keyboards. You'll also find alternate ping prioritization button layouts like bumper ping and bumper ping tactical in the gameplay settings menu. Warning with your team by picking objectives, pointing out loot for your fire team, or warning your squad of nearby danger by double tapping ping or the dedicated danger ping key on keyboard. And for those tired of asking the golden age question, can anyone take out the spy plane? You can even ping enemy score streaks. So that's pretty cool. A lot of really good stuff coming tomorrow. I'm actually going to be giving away, guys, an early access code to preload Call of Duty black ops cold war on your ps4 all right so it's for ps4 if you want the code follow me on twitter i'll have a tweet where you can enter that giveaway we have one code to give away these things are hard okay i only got one code so i'm gonna give it away to one person all right and said person will be able to preload the game today and then be a part of the access early access tomorrow on ps4 so check it out link down below but a lot of cool stuff coming here to call of duty black ops cold war this beta, they said that it changed a lot from the alpha, that they really, really changed a lot of it, that it almost feels like a new game. So 
we'll have to check and see but fov do keep in mind if you're going to be using that and you know kind of making the field of view much bigger then it might affect the frame rate so just keep that in mind for those of you guys who prefer frame rate over field of view or how much you see uh, it might take a hit so yeah just keep that in mind and then ping system understandable it's going to be in war zone so why wouldn't it be in a black ops uh, cold war multiplayer it'll be interesting if they do add it to zombies because i think that would also be a really good way to communicate for people that don't use uh, mics or just don't like using mics when you're playing online or maybe you just want to communicate quickly about where something is located as opposed to saying oh it's in this room or to your left or whatever so let's see if it's in uh, zombies i think that would also be a really cool addition so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i know it's just a short video but i want to cover you guys this information we got here for black ops cold war i will be live streaming tomorrow early on once the beta is live i'm going to be working and then i'll be here and streaming for you guys so make sure to stop by tomorrow over on twitch.tv slash the ogx so you don't miss a single bit of the action so thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like guys super appreciate it if you're new make sure you do subscribe with notifications on and if you want to support the channel directly like i said check out my sponsors g2a for some cheap pc games xbox live codes and more and then control for good scuff I use them every day when I'm playing. Code OGX Rays gets you a discount over there. Go ahead and check out my Amazon Influencer page if you want to support me that way. Or you can also talk to me and interact with me. Twitch.tv slash the OGX Rays every Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Stop by. Or also on Twitter. Twitter.com slash OGX Rays if you want to interact with me live. See what I'm up to or just want to talk. So you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.